Welcome back to Physio Classroom. We are starting with the ACL rehabilitation series and in this video we will see how to manage pain and swelling, start gentle movements in first 2 weeks after surgery and set yourself up for success. Let's get started. So in the first week post operative period we are focusing on pain relief and welling control. So the rice protocol has to be followed strictly which includes rest, icing compression and elevation. Gentle ankle toe pump exercise should be performed every 2 hourly by the patient for proper blood flow. This should be followed and there will be a knee brace applied at this period for support. Next, we will begin with some early activation exercises and our target is the quadriceps muscles. So we are going to perform the isometric quadriceps in close chain first. Patient's distal end can be fixed on wall as well and a thick pillow should be used under knee for better initial activation. This exercise should be performed 10 to 15 times and 3 sets. Our target in this phase 1 is to get quadriceps back in control because this group of muscle very very important to support the new ACL graft. To progress, we can decrease the height of pillow or towel and then continue the exercise in the short range. Next, we should target unlocking the knee extension range of motion. For this, we can simply keep the leg straight, supported on the chair. This position is itself enough in the starting stage to help tackle the extension lag. If tolerated, we can keep a weight also on the knee to further reinforce knee extension. We can do this stretch at times with the knee brace out and for around 5 to 10 minutes, 2 times daily. Next, we should start the dynamic quadriceps exercises. With patient in sitting, knee extension movement is performed up to the available range. Now here, patient is asked to hold the contraction first, that is isometric training. Then to lower the leg slowly, which is eccentric training. And they bring the leg up again against gravity, which is concentric training. So this way, we are going to train the muscle. First take the leg to the available range, hold there for 3 to 5 seconds. Then lower it back again slowly with control. And then take the leg back again up. Repeat this exercise 5 to 10 times and 3 sets daily. So remember, our aim is to gain quadriceps control as much as possible in this early phase. And with this 3 types of muscle training, we will achieve good control. To further reinforce the training, therapists can also apply neuromuscular electrical stimulation on the quadriceps and then perform the same exercise. Next exercise is the straight leg raise exercise. Patient is asked to simply raise the weaker leg while lying. The same concept of isometric, eccentric and concentric training can be applied here. The command given is, raise the leg and hold for 3 to 5 seconds. Then slowly take the leg back to the ground in a count of 5. And now raise the leg up again and try to take it more this time. Hold there for 5 seconds. Slowly take it back and then again take it up. This can be performed for 5 to 10 times and 3 sets daily. Next exercise is the mini bridges. Lie down with bent knees, lift your hips from the ground, tighten your buttock muscles and hold for 5 seconds. Repeat at least 5 to 10 times and 3 sets. This ensures the glutes activation which will be required during the weight-bearing phase. Next exercise is the isometric quadriceps. In this, we are targeting the quadriceps activation only isometrically. Isometric firing alone at this stage is useful for regaining proprioception and decreasing pain in the knee. And to your surprise, evidence has stated that the isometric knee strengthening, particularly in the knee flexion range 90 to 60 degrees, 
puts zero load on ACL ligament. I repeat, isometric knee strengthening, particularly in the knee flexion range 90 to 60 degrees, puts zero load on ACL. So you can perform this exercise 5 to 10 reps and 3 times daily. Next exercise is the knee slides. Knee flexion is not very hard to gain after ACL surgery. But still, hamstrings are to be fired in the initial period for better outcomes. So this assisted knee flexion exercise can be performed 5 to 10 reps and 2 times daily. Patient can also be asked to use towel assistance to further reinforce the knee flexion range. Now these are some do's and don'ts that are usually prescribed to the patient in this early phase. And the whole point of this early phase is that early activation is important. Icing should be done several times and proper use of knee brace and crutches during walking are emphasized. With this program, our goal is to boost graft healing and prevent complications. So this was all about this phase 1 for pain relief, swelling control and early activation. Upcoming. We will talk about the phase 2 in ACL rehabilitation program. Thanks for watching.